Good morning. It is uh, 26. Yeah, Friday the 26th. It's about 10.30 in the morning. Um, <laughs> batteries are already full. And the... Uh, what do we make so far? 4.9 kilowatt hours topped them off already we've been we've been filling up every day and um you know we don't use that much at night so in the summer if we don't find something to do with all the extra power it uh kind of just goes to waste and the uh solar panels get shut down and the brakes get put on the turbine as you can see symbol there with the circle around the picture of the blades means the brakes are on and as you can see this contraption is disconnected that's our dump load controller that vents excess power to the uh, water heater tank so we had an SSR go down it it must have gotten so hot that the terminal inside here I don't know it could have just been a faulty part but it uh, it literally got so hot that it just let itself go out of uh, the plastic housing there um, and I ordered replacement because you know whatever oh I'll, I'll, I'll find a higher amperage one down the road or maybe just go back to the mechanical but and as I was replacing that these are the signal wires from the controller you know the thermodyne dump load controller oh what the heck is going on here uh, weird anyways um, as I was maneuvering the new SSR in the signal wires touched for about a millisecond and made a quick spark and you know I can still reprogram and the, the you know the green light is on on the controller but it will not divert and send any power to the relay um so that's why my panels are cut down you know i should be making close to uh 14 1500 watts at this time of the day and it's only making about 650 and solar panel the wind's not blowing strong but it is moving um so the brakes are on so she's just locked up if i had power venting to a hot water tank that would pull her down that would take 600 watts out of the incoming power and these would keep the solar panels would keep just you know pounding power into the system instead of being you know choked down um and the brakes would be off of the turbines so i got a hold of thermodyne i got a new dump load controller and they sent really thorough uh, paperwork for doing all the programming for 12 volt, 24 volt, and it should already be set up for 24 volt. You got your six pins here, and depending on how you, you know, they, so they give you a nice little schematic there, and, 
you know, all the instructions are legible. It's not in, you know, Chinese English. So, you know, that's a lot of documentation for a little, it's, it's just this guy I'm replacing. I, I got a new one, so. And they even packaged it well. That was, and there was another um, layer of bubble tape over that. So I'm confident that that's going to be okay. Um, I don't have a tripod or anything set up. And I want to be paying attention when I replace this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap that out. Uh, looks like it's just screwing the top and the bottom to uh, swap it out for the, anybody out there that has a similar issue if they have a relay that goes down um on your dump load controller cut power to the controller because they do not like being grounded out even if it's just just man um I'm, I'm disappointed you know there's a waste of another fifty dollars but Whatever I, I I need that, um, not only just to you know for the health of the system, but uh, for helping with hot water. So um, I'm gonna get to work and we'll uh, check back in a bit. Alrighty, so got the old guy out and transfer the uh, little jumper wire. That makes it from a 12 volt to a 24 volt module um, over to the new guy and did initial programming you'll notice I went back to the mechanical relay um, I began tightening down the positive lead and I just yanked another one out so these got to be just like super low quality I uh, if you saw that part number don't buy it they're junk but it's working um, yeah yeah I gotta tighten all this but that's uh, I feel this warming up so that means there is power going to the water heater tank so that's awesome um i've got my so if you've never your little cap goes on it like so bend that in a little bit yep all right so if you've never programmed these or were confused as to how this works the right button does nothing unless you put it in program mode so you have to click the left button once and that gives you the number so now you can change this value with the right button so I want mine set to engage dump mode at 29.2 so you keep going with the left button and this number is the value that you want it to disengage. So I'll, I'll allow it to discharge all the way down to 27 before it disconnects power. And you just cycle through the rest of this. Don't change any of this crap unless you really know what you're doing. Um, but so it's dumping 600 watts into the hot water tank. There's a 600 watt DC element in there. And notice solar production ramp back up. So all of a sudden we've got juice again. Um, so there we go. Go ahead and call that a success. Um, I'm okay with 
the mechanical i know for longevity wise and 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 just hardiness that was the right part i wanted to try the ssrs um just because they're quieter you know the mechanical makes kind of an annoying clicking noise but um that was before i added four more panels to my array so now now my array is supporting the 600 watts dumping into the tank and you know bank is still at 28 so it's technically still charging batteries even though 600 watts is dumping into the tank and the house is using 218 watts so we got 800 watts going being used um but with 1300 coming in and increasing we're not losing voltage as fast as i used to it used to just dip all the way down to 27 it would click off come back right back up to 29 click on you know so it was click 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 you know, uh, uh, on and off on and off um but with the added four panels we've got we got 1600 oh there it goes it just clicked so uh but yeah with the added panels it made a huge difference <laughs> that's what it sounds like when it goes up and down i must have got a cloud yeah okay well cool i'm happy to see that it is working um that's gonna go a long ways in and helping make hot water it's time now to get my solar thermo panel going and i'm adding another 100 foot to that loop um so i'm gonna have to uh, gonna be a pain in the ass i need a helper to help me drag the panel out and i gotta cut all my sealer out from around the glass open it up and try and coil another i believe it's a hundred foot yeah i'm gonna add another hundred foot of hose to the system to really just make sure we've got hot water every single day because it's it's a big deal when you have a family of five uh four of which are girls me myself i don't care if i have to wait another day to shower it doesn't you know bother me but girls you know they're different so that's next um I think I'll make it a short video and maybe I'll do a separate one on the geo or the solar thermo system. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, the, the Thermodyne dump load controller, man, if you're, if you're working on these things, servicing, hooking them up, anything like that, if you're doing anything with anything you know just 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 keep it powered down until it's all hooked up and tight um and everything should go fine keep your polarities correct it matters these are old school components but they're reliable you know this thing has reverse polarity protection you know just just a, just a million different protections built in there's uh internal fusing external fusing it, it, it built to the hills but it was also really expensive but it's we'll see on the longevity i love it so far we'll see on the longevity these have been around for 20 some years um and as long as you never arced anything out, they probably, you know, they're all 
the ones that are out there are probably all still working fine yeah that's 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 working like a darn charm beautiful yep that's awesome okay well thanks for watching god bless you have more of that